that fearsome and heavy blow. And so the sons of Muspel retire the line to nurse their wounds and wander at the strength of the defenders of Asgard. raises his arms for stillness, if not for peace. He would have words with his renegade ward, and Loki steps forward to face him. They do not clamor the heavens with their voices as men do, but speak as God's will, thought conversing with thought, mind with mind, so that no other may hear their words and divine their intention. Loki, begins Odin, why have you allied yourself with the fire giant? Why do you stand with this foul rabble against the Azir? You may think you have come to conquer Asgard, but you will only destroy it. This knowledge was granted to me as I hung tortured upon the world tree, where I sacrificed my own eye for knowledge and wisdom. We stand together now at the brink of destruction, but it is not too late for you to stand with us, my son. But Loki has nurtured his hatred for so long, he will have none of this. He raises his weapon and jabs it at his foster father. Odin, my dear foster father, what do you know of suffering? Nine days hanging on a tree while I endured the torture of burning venom for eons. Why do you seek to turn me back with lies? How odd that men call you all father and I the trickster. Well, Odin the truth twister I name you. False tongue I call you. You are also the god of hanged men, are you not? Now you stand with an army of the doomed and feel the noose tighten around your own neck. Odin, the Allfather, is saddened but not surprised at Loki's acid words, and he raises his hands one final time. Loki, still you do not understand. Once released, Fenrir cannot again be chained. Bifrost is gone, and Surt could not turn back even if he wished to. And as for you, know you not that the Lord of Misrule cannot rule? Your domain would be ash and smoke. And yet, so be it. For the time of the gods is passing, and men must seek their own path now. They have ever been our children, and now we must hope that they can rule their world without bringing down destruction upon themselves and the whole of Midgard. For now, nothing remains but for us to defy you. Bring forth your hordes, Asgard fears them not. But Loki not slowly then turns to his hordes, bidding them rise and raises his weapon high. Likewise, the warriors of Asgard, sensing the battle to come, take their feet. And Loki calls to his horde, on sons of Mospel, on to rack, on to ruin, on to fire and fury and destruction. 